Jim has five colored balls, white, red, green, yellow, and blue. He wants to arrange the balls in a row. How many different ways can these five balls be arranged upon themselves? Okay. So we're going to arrange them in a row. So we're going to have five of them. Like this. Now for our first choice, we can put any of these in that first spot. So we got five choices. So that'd be five. Now, when I work these, I like to think of a practical example. Uh, theoretical doesn't click in my head uh, real well. So let's pretend that I put red in that first slot. Then, this is a multiplication rule, which is going to turn into something else. If I put red in the first slot, then I've used it, which means I got four colors left, which means four colors can go here. Now, let's pretend I put white there. So now I got my next uh, slot, and I've already used red and white, so there's two, three colors left over. So there's three colors to choose from. Let's say this is yellow. Then for my next uh, slot, I've already used red, white, and yellow, so I got two colors left over. And let's say I put in um, this other color here, blue. Now I've used the first four colors, so the last one has no choice. It has to be whatever color is left. Um, green. Now we're not saying that this has to be red. I'm using this as an example to wrap my mind around the setup. So I got five times four times three times two times one. If I reverse that, that's one times two times three times four times five, which is five factorial. You could just multiply them together if you want, but if I come here and I do fact uh, five, that gives us 120, and that's our answer.